double clicking on the tab down below i'm going to call it sales by item uh, data this will be my data tab because i'm going to put the actual graphs on another tab and then hide the data tab so i can print out all the reports without the data tab printing out and print them to a pdf form so that i can get them all on one pdf form okay so now that it's there i'm going to hold control down and scroll up to zoom in to check out the data let's see what it looks like so there we have it okay so i'm going to go to the tab to the right and then back to the left i usually like to just see where the page screen ends right there and then i'm going to do my formatting thing on this so these ones in here are formatted at Arial 8 and these out here are formatted at calibri 11 i'm going to make them all calibri 11 by putting my cursor out here go into the paintbrush and brushing the format on the entire sheet and then i'm going to start to delete the stuff that i don't need well let's let's first format the cells the way i'd like to see it i'm going to right click on them format the cells and i'm going to make this currency bracketed numbers for negatives no dollar sign let's get rid of the decimals and okay so there we have that and then i'm going to get rid of what i don't need i'm going to put my cursor on row one i don't need anything from here down to down to let's go to here for now and right click and delete and then i don't need any of these other columns but i got to be careful on these columns that i don't remove any formulas it looks like this is all hard-coded numbers i'm checking to see that it doesn't have a formula in it but i just to make sure i'm going to select all of this data right click on it and copy it and then i'm going to paste it right back down on top but paste it one two three hard coding the numbers so everything is just hard coded now no formulas and then I can be fairly confident getting rid of the quantity. I don't need that. So I'm going to select column B, right click and delete it. I'm going to select this percent, all this stuff. Don't need any of that. I just want one set of numbers and a total. Right click and delete. Boom. Okay, so there we have it. Now, now we've got this added issue here where we've got this kind of subtotal information and it still gave me this kind of double subtotal thing so you've got the you know the design information up here and then you've got the fountains that has the subtotals to get down to the to the total fountains down here so what i want is just to have the total fountains so i don't want any of this stuff up top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to delete from from row five to row eight and i'm just because this sums up if i add that that amount sums up now notice this particular report had some funny formatting where it's still on the left so like if i double click on these cells then it it moves it over to the right to a normal formatting i don't know why sometimes the reports do that because they're not so i have to double click on them and have them move over so i can see the normal formatting for it so i'm just gonna do that all the way down so that it formats it properly there probably is an easier way to to do that but i'll just do it this way for now it's kind of an annoying little thing and then if i select these three this adds up to two six seven zero so i can i want to keep that total and delete from here down to here i'm just going to delete that and then i don't need the total so i'm going to get rid of the total and then the lights that looks good and then we've got the total design i don't need the total because this should add up to the five eight five three so i'm going to get it going to get rid of the total here i'm going to get rid of that and i'm going to get rid of the designs up top delete that so i'm just getting rid of the subtotals and then down here we've got we've got these landscaping items that add up and then i've got this again this subtotal i tried to get rid of but it still popped in here so we've got this and this add up to that uh, 198 right there so i don't need this subtotal from sprinklers down here i just want them just in the total sprinklers 
right click and delete double click in here get rid of the total and so there is that and then we've got the total landscaping i shouldn't need that because the sum of these 4407 should be that so i'm going to get rid of the total and i'm going to get rid of the landscaping and then pest control i'm just going to get rid of the these two because i just want the total right click and delete double click on the total delete that stuff and then not specified okay there it is so then i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of this total and then just to see if i've messed anything up i'm gonna sum it up now just to double check my number so it still comes out to 10 to 80 and i'm gonna delete i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to quickbooks here delete this Go back to QuickBooks and it should add up to the 10 280. So I didn't mess anything up. So that's a little bit messy of a process because you have those subtotals. If I didn't have those subtotals, then it would be you know a fairly easy, easy process uh, to deal with. So it takes a little bit of cleaning up. But now that I have this, I should clean this up a little bit further by getting rid of these spaces because that could mess up the format of the chart, which again is somewhat of a tedious process to do and um, there probably is an easier way to do this like i i could well i won't do it i won't show you right now I'll just this isn't too bad with this many numbers we'll just delete the spaces and then i'm gonna do that two more times okay so now I can delete the added columns up top. I'm gonna, or rows one and two, right click, delete. I don't need this total column because I'm gonna make a table out of it. Right click, delete. And so now we've got our raw data. So, so now I need to sort this data. So I could do this by selecting the data, go into the data tab, adding filters, but I like to add a table. So I can put my cursor anywhere in the data. I don't have to select the whole thing, insert, table and then i'm going to say okay i'm going to add a total column so it totals it up down below and so now i need to filter it from z to a drop down z to a that's what that's we, what we sold in terms of of the revenue so so now i can make a pie chart out of it although there's too many slices most likely if i select the meat the stuff in the middle the data not the total in the headers insert pie chart there it is but it's a little too too messy up here too many little slices so i'm going to close this out and i'm going to say maybe just down to like right there and then everything below i'm going to put into other that adds up to 1178 so i'm going to say this is 1178 i'm going to call it other and then everything underneath from 8 to 15 right click get rid of it get out and delete it it still adds up to 10 281 so it's a dollar difference because of rounding than it was before. But then I'm going to select these and now I can insert a pie chart and it should be appropriate pie size. And there we have it. I can then change it. I've been choosing this one, I think something like that. Well, that one looks and I haven't been choosing that one, but I kind of like it. So there we have that. 